Right, hello. My name is Paul Swarbrick and I happen to be the Bishop of Lancaster since 2018. And as the leader, the Chief Shepherd in the Diocese of Lancaster, I'm delighted to welcome you all who are participating in the, the virtual diocesan pilgrimage to Lourdes. Um, there's all sorts of you listening. Uh, some of you are very familiar with Lourdes, you're veterans of the pilgrimage over the years. Others of you might have never done it before. You're complete novices and you're not quite sure what it's going to be like. Well, that's part of the adventure that we're on. It's an adventure of faith. Pilgrimage has a special place in the hearts of our Catholic faith. It, it invites us to, to leave the place where we normally are and to travel a bit. This year, we can't do it physically, but we can do it in our imagination and spiritually. So we're going to leave this northwest corner of England and head off down to the southwest corner of France. You don't need your passport, you don't need euros and travel insurance and all that. We're going to do it in our imagination and in spirit. We're going to go to a little town called Lourdes in the foothills of the Pyrenees to a shrine to our Blessed Lady, Our Lady of Lourdes. And we're going to find there the company of a little saint Saint Bernadette, very simple, very humble young woman who discovered our Blessed Lady. She wasn't really looking for her, but Mary appeared to her. And part of the joy of pilgrimage is we, we set off not really knowing what will happen, but God knows. He has plans for you that you don't know about, and they're good plans. Um, the pilgrimage that we'll be on over the course of the week will happen because of the work of many people, but particularly I'd like to thank Father Peter Sayer, the director of the pilgrimage, and a young lady called Linda Wisdom, who has very much helped this happen. All sorts of things are going on in your life and your family life at the moment. And you can bring those with you as intentions in your prayer. Um, we're going to be praying a lot. We're going to be seeing a lot of different images. We're going to be looking at other people on pilgrimage. We're going to join them in this spiritual journey. Christ is calling you to, to make this journey. As I said at the beginning, it's an adventure so we're not quite sure what will happen um, but it will be good suffering plays its part in the story of Lourdes it plays its part in the story of every Christian and Jesus invites us to carry the cross not as a punishment but out of love and we can only carry our crosses if we have a great deal of love. For most of us the love we have isn't enough and then the wonderful thing is that Jesus gives us his love. So gift is a very big part of pilgrimage and whatever effort you have to put in whether it's time, organizing things, um, sacrifices, whatever effort you put in will be more than rewarded by the fruits of the pilgrimage. So this is the sort of beginning of it all and I'm standing here at uh, outside the little church of St Thomas Moore in, in Lancaster um, and this will go out right across not just the Diocese of Lancaster but across the whole world. I'd like us to begin now by uh, just joining together in a, a prayer that was composed for use in the diocese
by Father Francis Oleseni, who is working in the Sacred Heart Parish in Preston. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Lady of Lourdes, remember that we in the Diocese of Lancaster are your children, given to you by your Divine Son. Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception, when you appeared to St. Bernadette at Lourdes, you made it a holy sanctuary where many have received comfort and healing, both in body and in spirit. We come to you like little St. Bernadette at the Grotto for our healing and the healing of those we love. With her childlike trust, we pray to you. Holy Family, help our families rely on God for our needs and deepen our trust in God's ways. Help us to walk with you on this pilgrimage as we strive to follow your loving example. Jesus, we trust in you. Please grant through your mother's intercession that we may always bring your hope, your love and your mercy and healing into our families. Mary, help of Christians, Keep our faith strong and true. Grant us the strength to live out a truly Christian life, despite the challenges of the world we live in. May we come to you during our times of need, so that we may always be true to your word, especially at the time of our death. O Blessed Virgin Mary, we know that God will graciously hear these prayers presented to you and that he in his mercy and love will show us the way. We pray this for ourselves, those who are dear to us and those many people at this time whose needs are greatest and who just don't know where to turn. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Right, we're off. <laughs>